Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kayla and today I'm going to be answering the number one most asked question I get regarding finance and that is how much math is there in finance in the major and in the workforce and how tough is it really? A lot of you guys have been telling me that you don't really like math, you're not confident in your math skills, and that makes you scared when it comes to pursuing a degree in finance and later on a career in finance. Now, I'll tell you a little bit about me and how I feel about math and my background in math. Growing up, I was never particularly really strong in math. I never really thought it was hard either. Um, when I got to high school, I got mostly A's and B's in the math classes that I took, and I took Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Geometry, and um, like a personal finance class. And when I got to college, and I got to do early enrollment, so uh, my first year of college slash my senior year of high school, I took College Algebra, and I failed. <laughs> yeah, I failed college algebra and the second time I took it, I got like a B or a B minus. Uh, the other math classes I took before being able to declare a major were calculus, which I did, I got A and like did much better than I ever did in any algebra course that I ever took. And statistics I got A also, but I wasn't like in love with statistics. I never really had these thoughts in my mind, like I'm not good at math, so I'm not going to take this major. But it is good that you are asking yourself right now, uh, how much math am I really going to have to deal with in the future? To answer the main question here, how much math are you going to see in a finance major? It really depends on what school you go to. And, and it's not even as simple as are you going to an Ivy League or are you not going to an Ivy League? There are programs of Ivy League and non-Ivy League that really pride themselves on being math-heavy finance programs. And then there's uh, Ivy League finance programs that are not math-heavy at all, and they really pride themselves on, you know, their students getting very high GPAs and getting very coveted jobs. So before you go to college and you know you want to do finance, make sure you do background research on the individual university's finance program. So Google it, reach out to past alumni of that finance program and ask how much, how hard was your finance program? Was there a lot of math involved? Was it a math heavy finance program? In the future, we're definitely going to be seeing more and more math heavy finance programs. It's just going in that direction of uh, companies wanting uh, analysts and non-analysts, they want all their finance hires to have strong analytical skills. And that's a big reason why a lot of high finance jobs for uh, analyst positions, they are looking more and more for STEM majors. More and more of those people are getting Wall Street level jobs. Even in accounting jobs, accounting is going more and more towards needing analytical skills and the most basic functions of the job. Those basic functions are being taken over by software. So whether you want to go towards a traditional finance direction or even if you would want to later go on more into of a accounting role you're gonna have to have analytical skills now in every single finance course that you take in college you are going to be doing math of some kind sometimes it's just going to be adding subtracting multiplying and dividing but sometimes you're going to be doing some equations once you get into principles of finance you should Go through that course and really judge for yourself whether or not you can handle the math in finance. In my principles of finance class, there was probably like about 100 students in that class and between 10 and 20% of those students dropped the class because they just couldn't handle it. They <laughs> most of them complained about not being able to do the math. And I would say out of any major in the College of Business, Finance is probably the most math heavy and the most difficult of math you will see. 
My number one advice is either put up or shut up. If you cannot put yourself in the mindset that you are just going to do it, that that you're going to make this happen, that you're going to be able to pass these finance classes with A's, then you should definitely think about taking another major or going down another path in life. Because if you can't get past some math questions in your major, then sorry to say it, you do not have the mindset to be successful for the rest of your life. In the future, I would like to make a video uh, looking at an exam from a finance class and just kind of looking at some of the questions and showing you guys what a finance exam could look like. One thing a lot of people might not realize unless they do some research is that on a good majority of finance interviews that you go on, you should expect some kind of math question to be asked. The most memorable question that I personally got asked was, how many light bulbs are there in Australia? And they gave a couple like, you know, basic details of to find out the answer. Yeah, you can get asked some very eccentric math questions. And I suggest checking out Wall Street Oasis and their interview prep guides. They're about $199 to $299 per guide, and it's definitely worth the investment to be more prepared at the time of your interview. It's definitely worth between $200 and $300 for a 100K plus up job. You can get more details down below at my link. I definitely suggest that you check it out. And let me make myself clear. I do not ever suggest anything to my viewers that I do not believe in. So be sure to check out the link down below and check out Wall Street Oasis and their interview prep guides and modeling courses. And then other than that, I suggest doing research on the individual company or bank that you'd be interviewing with and looking to see if anybody else has put uh, questions that they have been asked out there so you can understand the basic logic behind questions being asked. Now, when you're actually working in finance, how much math you're gonna see is really gonna depend on what role you have. Now, if you're doing like a financial advising job, you're doing uh, wealth management, you're not gonna be doing a lot of hands-on math. Those jobs were really more sales-based, relationship-based, so it's really good for an extroverted person who doesn't want to do a lot of math. If you're more in high finance, like investment banking, private equity, hedge funds, venture capital, the math you're gonna see there is a little bit more heavy, but more than anything, your financial modeling skills are gonna have to be on point. That's the most important thing. And of course, math is involved with financial modeling, but where the most math is seen in a finance role is if you're a quant slash financial engineer you're doing math all day, every day. So if you're somebody who's been asking me, Kayla, how much math are we gonna see? I really like math. I wanna be in more of an introverted role. I don't mind doing math, I wanna do math. Then you should definitely pursue being a quant or financial engineer. For all the people out there who think they're interested in taking the CFA in the future, let me put it straightforward with you right now. It is very math intense. Uh, and only about 20%, I think it's even less than that, of the people who start off with attempting to take CFA level one actually pass all three levels of the CFA and become CFA chartered. So uh, if you're saying you wanna be CFA chartered and you have issues with math, I'm telling you right now, you're gonna have a very hard and rough <laughs> awakening so just letting you know uh if you're interested in being cfp then that's not as math intensive and for the people that are discouraged and thinking oh you know cfa is so math intense there's also morals and ethics questions and there are people out there that have a harder time with moral and ethics questions with 
questions that involve facts than doing math and you have an advantage over those people so just try and be positive and say to yourself you can make the math work you already have other things working for you so yeah guys make sure your mindset is set right so you can get through your finance classes so you can get through that math do not be intimidated by it if you are having issues be sure to get a tutor spend more time studying do what you need to do to pass the classes ask your professors for help ask other students in the class for help if they're willing to help uh, with that being said, do not badger anybody for help if they don't seem receptive to it. Be sure to just keep in that positive mindset and work hard. Hope this gave you a little insight about how much math you'll see in your major and in the real world. If it helps, be sure to give it a like. If you know anybody who is interested in finance and worried about how much math they're gonna see, then be sure to share this video with them. If you have any more questions, be sure to leave them down below. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you around in another one of my videos. Bye.